Okay, so the first topic that we're going to cover tonight is that of the central cord pattern of spinal cord injury in the stable degenerative spine. I have no specific disclosures related to this topic. And we wanted to present this case because this is an area that is of ongoing controversy uh, within our practices. And this controversy was highlighted almost a decade ago in a survey that Michael Failings did on the timing of surgical intervention in almost a thousand spine surgeons. And in this, it was revealed that when it came to a more elderly individual with a hyperextension pattern of central cord, spinal cord injury, there was really little consensus as to when the optimal timing of surgical intervention was. So we're going to present this case, fairly prototypical case of a 73-year-old male. He uh, trips forward, strikes his chin on the dresser, and he suffers immediate and complete quadriplegia at the scene. He's an otherwise independent gentleman who resides at home with his wife. He has some medical comorbidities, is on some puffers for his COPD, he's on a pixaban for his atrial fibrillation. He's brought by ambulance to the specialist hospital and en route, it's noted that he is experiencing some improved function in his arms and legs. And about 12 hours after his injury, he's assessed as being a C4 Asia C with the characteristic loss of his finger flexors and intrinsic, so quite significant and dense hand impairment, but with some patchy lower extremity function at this stage. And he is improving with grade one flickers in his hips. And he's got some movement, not anti-gravity strength in his quads, tip ant, EHL, but stronger plantar flexors. So the question here is whether or not he should undergo urgent surgical decompression, or whether it would be better to wait for his core to cool down, possibly do a delayed decompression if decompressing him at all. So these represent fairly different uh, treatment options. And to debate this, I've invited my good friends and colleagues, doctors Jim Harrop from Thomas Jefferson University and Dr. Jeff Wilson from the University of Toronto, who will argue for the watch and wait and the go early uh, treatment approach for surgical intervention in this injury. So I look forward to their presentations on this topic.